Okay, here we have a suction manifold that two inch rigid PVC on the skimmer side, inch and a half PVC on the cleaner side, street elbow and a sweep elbow. Uh, this is much better than that. A nice straight run from the Jandy three way valve into the front side of a one and a half horsepower Hayward pump. Um, that's actually a street elbow fitting, but that looks like inch and a quarter. I don't like this. First of all, it's too close. You should have a piece of straight coming out. Having a 90 immediately out of the top of the pump makes the pump work a lot harder than it has to. Uh, I don't really like this configuration. If this were mine, I would replace this. And the uh, Spa Flex or, or flexible PVC is made for priming and gluing, not for clamping. Um, this clamping's for poly pipe. For that, those clamps are not done correctly. You would have the clamps facing opposite directions, so one nut here and one nut in the bottom, so that you don't have any uh, tight spots and subsequent loose spots. Uh, so from the top side of the pump, come up into the filter here. This filter is a 300 pound filter tank. This pool that I'm dealing with here is the equivalent of a 20 by 40 humpback kidney. Uh, so it's a pretty big pool. This filter is probably just barely large enough for the pool. Uh, out of the filter, got some spa flex over into a piece of rigid down into the uh, heater here. That was a two inch port, but bushed down to the inch and a half that we're dealing with. Straight back out, a couple of 90s, up, over, down, and then into a, uh, a Zodiac saltwater chlorinator and into uh, Union for winterization access, and then the return line. Sweep elbow here, street elbow here. So that's what they should have put. They should have put sweeps on both sides. It's okay, but it could be better. Um, what I don't like is there's no check valve here. So again, any chlorine that is uh, made here can just easily travel backwards through the system and into the heater and ruin the heater. And further to that, this heater's winterized. This whole system's kind of closed right now. Um, but I can see everything I need to see right there. No bonding wire. So that's something that should be done. Same with the pump. No bonding on that. Um, so the system's actually okay. Uh, if it were mine, there's a couple of things I would do. I would change out that connection on the top side of the pump. I would add a check valve uh, in between the salt cell and the heater. I would bond both the heater and the pump, and I would replace these street elbows right here and right here with sweep elbows. Um, and whenever this filter failed, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do repairs to it like changing laterals or sand replacement. I would uh, run it till it was no good anymore and then I would go ahead and replace it with a larger sand filter or uh, at least 350 pounds of sand if not bigger uh, but ideally you'd want to see a cartridge filter on this system. They're about three times as much money but about three times as good of a filter and since this is a very large pool I mean you need good filtration for it. So pretty good but always some room, room for improvements.